So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to have to do a segment out of this episode, too, I think. Uh, uh, Peter asks here, where did your love of ghostwriters stem from, and are you still reading? Well, uh, Ghostwriter was the first comic book I can remember picking up, actually. Um, Ghostwriter number 28, Evil is the Orb. And uh, I used to like going to the store with my mom, and when she would shop, I would look at the comic books and I remember reading a uh, savage sword of Conan. It was mm -hmm. so violent. Cause he'd take a sword and put it like right through somebody's face, you know? And uh, it also had some tits and ass in it. It was like a, th a big magazine size comic. And uh, I used to love that. And uh, ghost rider. I think the first one I bought, I think might've been that ghost rider number 28. And I just, um, I, I really liked his character and, it was cool that other kids at school didn't know about him. Like the other comic book nerds liked Wolverine, the X-Men, and they didn't know much about Ghost Rider. So I felt like he was like more mine and, and he was supernatural. So his powers were like, you know, limitless, unmeasurable. And, and, uh, and I just really enjoyed the, uh, the storyline. And uh, so when I was really hard into collecting the, nothing to make my day like being at a random comic store on the road or flea market or something and pulling out a comic that fills a spot, you know, like yeah. I needed number 78, the nightmare, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, the nightmare, and, it, it, and it was, it was, it was really cool. Now it seems like collecting would be so easy being able to get online. I could just buy whatever I don't have. It seems like, so I don't see the thrill of it. And uh, no, I don't read uh, anymore. <laughs> like a uh, um, ghost rider. Um, I, I had like a whole collection of ghost rider at my other house. That was like everything that was made with, with his trademark, I would buy it. So I had every statue I knew of every action figure and t-shirts and even a bunch of random, random shit, you know, whether it was like a bottle opener, pocket knife, uh, anything, anything. I had two display cases full of it because I was a hardcore collector. And when I got uh, divorced and then I moved, I decided that that wasn't going to be part of this next chapter in my life because um, I, I went through this uh, uh, rock bottom uh, uh, period where I was scraping my face on the ground and, and I had to build myself back together. And I just decided to leave that part out of the new building blocks. And I just decided, you know what? I'm going on into my later, later part of my 40s and whatever. I think I'm going to leave this shit behind. And I did. I just left all of it. So now uh, I just collect RVD. Hey, there you go. You know, yeah. what would you think of the Ghost Rider movie with Nick Cage? Um, I was stoked that they did it, that they mm -hmm. did a Ghost Rider movie. You know, I mean, I could critique it because I liked, I liked it when he was portrayed more as a darker character you know this hell spawn originally he used to fight satan in the that's first, right yeah mm -hmm. yeah like member nine is satan on the cover and it's like uh um eventually and, and the son of satan was a character in marvel not really politically correct but probably but uh, eventually they made it so that it was Mephisto. Mephisto, that was it. Yeah. yeah. Pretending he was Satan, you know, and it was like, but it was still cool. I really like, I enjoyed the supernatural aspect of, uh, of his whole adventures. I think nowadays too, that they've done like Daredevil on Netflix and they did the Punisher and that made a more like extreme darker versions. Yeah. Think. They could yeah. definitely do a good one of Johnny Blaze for sure. Didn't they do something where he was a race car driver or something? Um, I thought I so, uh, like in uh, one of the the shows, I can't remember if he had his. I'll own have to look that up because yeah. I'd be intrigued to see that. You know, so it was I used a to... different human host. You know, like this. That's the oh. idea was that the 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 spirit Zarathos was the original Ghost Rider spirit. He was put in a human host as punishment, and then uh, throughout the years transferred from human to human, and uh, having this. This, this life where in his memory was erased and all this shit. So the whole long-term story was him regaining himself and learning about his former self. And I was just so into it. I loved it. I loved the people he would fight when it was like uh circus of freaks and uh, um, nightmare. Of course, uh, Mephisto and Spidey's opponents too. He fought them too. Mysterio and yeah. anybody, 
I like it when he would fight Spidey. I like it when they would all fight each other. But there was there was always a way that like because he's supernatural, there's always a way he could do something that that we could be like, oh, well, I didn't know he could do that. You mm-hmm. know. Fuck, dude. You want me to go? I've got graphic novels over here. I got to get some uh, Ghost Rider now. <laughs> I, it's cool, too, that it was like he was an outside kind of character, too, that like, yeah, you could kind of relate to and be like, all right, this is my guy in particular. I was I, I liked X-Men. I was a big X-Men fan and Gambit was my guy. So everybody like Wolverine, like you were saying. So I was like, oh, Gambit's pretty cool. You know, he's yeah, you know, yeah. So it kind of balanced out. So I feel that for sure, man. 